Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to have a short introduction to the OpenCV DNN module that we're going to use throughout the next couple of videos. I'm going to create a new tutorial here where we're going to focus on how we can actually use the deep neural network uh, module from OpenCV. But first of all here, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here and you can come join our channel, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning and so on. You can also become a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel more than you're currently doing by just watching with a small monthly fee and everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. So in this video here, we're going to go into the OpenCV documentation here and then we're going to look at the documentation for some of the different kind of like method and classes that is built into OpenCV's DNN module that we're going to use throughout the next videos. So OpenCV here, when we're working, working with OpenCV DNN's module, uh, we can only use it for uh, neural network inference. So we can't really use it for like creating neural network from scratch or like training neural network from scratch. We will need to use other frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and so on to actually like uh, create our models or like use pre-trained models from scratch or like from the beginning. And then we're going to train it on our data set with those frameworks. So we can't really use OpenCV as a framework to train our neural networks, but we can take the models that we trained in the other frameworks and then we can actually like deploy them with OpenCV, use different kind of uh, functions uh, on our images or like do operations on our images, pass those images to neural networks that we are deploying uh, by, by the models that were trained in the other frameworks. So OpenCV with DNN is only for a neural network inference. So in this video here, we're jumping, jumping into the documentation here. We're, in the, we're just going to the main page here and we're in 4.52 here in this example here. And for our tutorial here with this DNN module, I'm both going to do it in C++ and Python. So we can both see like how we can actually like deploy neural network models in both Python and C++. They act like all of the different kind of methods and classes are exactly the same. It's just like how we're actually like accessing the individual like modules and functions uh, within the modules in OpenCV. So they're pretty much similar and all the functions is actually like the same. So here we can just go into the main page here and then we go to the modules here where we can see all the different kind of modules that we have here uh, built into OpenCV. We can actually like see we have this CUDA accelerated computer vision here. So throughout the last uh, couple of videos here, I've mainly been focusing on how we can actually like install and build OpenCV with GPU support. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU and you want to use the GPU instead of the CPU, to actually like do your operations on the images and also use this CUDA accelerated module. And we can actually also use the GPU for neural network inference with this DNN module here in OpenCV. So if you want to know like how we can install and build OpenCV with GPU support, I'll link to the video up here somewhere and you can go check that out, follow the installation process, and then you can actually like use the GPU to do, do all the operations, which is up to like 10, 20, 30 times faster than doing the operations on a CPU. So in this video here, we're just going to look at it, some of the documentation and some of the methods here for the deep neural network module here. So if you just go down to this tab here and hit it, we can see here that we, first of all, we get a list of the different kind of modules that we have inside of this DNN module here. So we have some partial lists here of the implemented layers. We have some utilities for new layers registration. And then we can see the different kind of classes here or like the methods inside of this DNN module here that we're going to use throughout this uh, tutorial here with the DNN module. So the, 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 most, the most important ones here that we're actually like going to use and I'm going to show you like how we can actually like use is, is the different kind of like classes or methods where we can actually like load in other different kind of neural network architectures that we trained in the other frameworks. So OpenCV actually like it supports a lot of frameworks as we're going to see here in the documentation. So here we can see that we get some different kind of like structs, some classes here, we get some, some layers here. At this interface the class here allows to build new layers into our neural network or building blocks uh, of networks. We can also see here that we have like a model here. So this class is presented high level API uh, for neural network. So we can use it that for different kinds of things. And if we just hit here, we can actually like go in here, see a short description of what this, uh, what this like a uh, class here does. And we can see that we have some different kinds of things here where we can set like, for example, uh, the input parameters, um, the in, in parameters, input size and stuff like that to our actual like, neural network when we're going to create this model object here later on. But if you just go back here to the actual like methods that we're going to use, um, when we actually like go into these different kind of layers here. Um, but down here at the bottom here, we can also see we have this e these enumerations here that we're also going to use because when we're going to use this DNN module here, I'm both going to show you how we can use it with the CPU and the GPU. And we're actually like going to, to do like speed comparison and see how efficient it is to do our actual like neural network inference on a GPU compared to a CPU. So we can actually like set the backend here to DNN underscore backend CUDA. And this, it is necessary that we have built uh, OpenCV from the source files with CUDA support if we want to use these different kind of like uh, GPU support uh, with the CUDA as backend. And we can also set some different kind of like targets down here with the CUDA as well. 
We could also use it with like, for example, OpenCL if we wanted to use that, or we could use it on FPGA um, as well. But down here, we can actually see the different kind of functions or methods that is built into uh, OpenCV uh, DNN module here. So up here, we just have the different kind of classes where we can actually like, create a new and there are like a model or a network architecture or an object that we can actually use to load in modules to the network architecture here, uh, for example. So if you go down here and look at different kind of functions, then we can actually like get some, for example, some plot from images, which is often the case. So we actually like load an image from our webcam, for example, and then we create a plot from the image uh, with that webcam. And then we're actually like going to pass that plot uh, through a neural network for inference. And then we'll like get, like get predictions out or in cases that we want to do optic detection, we will also get the boundary boxes out as well. When we actually like passing this plot from image here through our neural network architecture. So I'm not really sure how we can actually use these different kind of functions here as well. But in this video here, we're just going to look at the documentation, get an introduction to OpenCV's DNN module. And then I'm going to show you like a short example of like, for example, what we're going to do throughout this tutorial. And then in the next couple of videos, we're actually like going down in code. I'll show you how we can both do it in C++ and Python. And we're going to create some really nice and cool applications here with the DNN module. So we're both com combine computer vision and uh, uh, deep learning. So down here, we can actually like just get a short description of what it is and what this function here the returns. So we can see here, it creates a four dimensional plot here from image and optionally uh, resizes and crops the image from sender, subtract the mean values, scales values by scale factor and so on. So we're going here, read about what the, these different kind of functions here does and what they return. So down here, we can actually like just go down here and you can use this function here, read net. So we can both use this like OOL or like general function here to read in a net, or we can use some specific ones down here where we actually like just read in a net from, for example, the Kafka uh, framework. We can also read in a neural network from darknet. We can do some different kind of like read net from model optimizer. And we also have this ONNX here, which is often the case when we're going to create like general neural networks, which we want to make portable between different kind of frameworks or like different kind of like platforms where we want to deploy our neural network because this is like a general solution or like a general structure of our neural network that we can then deploy. We can also get a read an internet from TensorFlow and also from PyTorch here as well. But up here in this video, I'm just going to focus on this read net here. So if we go into this one here, we go down to the documentation and we can see that this documentation here is for C++, but uh, when we're using Python, it is just a wrapper for the different kind of like methods here that we have in, in C++. So we just have like kind of like a Python API that calls these different kind of functions here under the hood. So th the functions will be the same. They will do the same. They will turn the same. Uh, so it's just, just the, it's just a way that we're actually like accessing these functions here with OpenCV and in the DNN module. So here to actually like be able to read in a neural network uh, from a model that we actually like created, or if we just want to use a pre-trained like one like YOLO and something like that, we can actually just read in the network here with this function here. So we can see here, it takes a string here which is the model, and then it takes a string here, which is the config. And then it also takes a string here, which is the frameworks or like the name of the framework that we're going to use because some of them have, have actually like different kind of like structures or like how these different kind of like neural network architectures are stored, both the architecture and also the weights. So down here, we can see a short description of what this function here does. It reads in a deep learning neural network here represented in one of the support formats. Then we can go down here and see the different kind of parameters. So the first parameter here is the model. So the first model, the model uh, parameter here is a binary file that contains the trained weights. So this will be all the weights that were trained in our neural network framework uh, on the it, on the data set. It could either be images or like just numerical data uh, that we have trained the neural network on. And then the following file extensions here are expected for the models for uh, from different frameworks here. So we see here that we have these different kind of frameworks here. So we will have the Kafka framework, we have TensorFlow, we have PyTorch, we have Darknet, we have something called DLDT, and then we also have NNX here. So these are just like standard files here or like files that we can actually convert the neural networks to, to actually like make them, uh, made them portable. Or if we create our neural networks with some framework and we just stored it, stored it in, in the framework files like that, we can also use the, both TensorFlow, PyTorch, Darknet, Kafka, and so on. And then it will just change the, uh, the, the extension here of the files, but it will still load in the model here uh, with the trained made uh, weights here for our model. The second parameter here is the config here. So this text file here contains the ne network configuration. So both the configuration and like the architecture of our neural network. So when we're loading in our neural network, we both need to know the architecture of it and all the different kind of weights that it needs to assign to the architecture of a neural network. It could be a file with the following extensions here. So we will have the Kafka, TensorFlow, Darknet, and DLDT here again. 
and we can see the differences of all, all of these different kind of like frameworks here is just the extension because then they, they save it in different kind of like extensions or like file formats here so for example with the cafe here or like tensorflow we can see that we have this dot dot uh, pp here which is just the, ext the extension that tensorflow is using and then when we want to use uh, loading the config file here as well for the neural network architecture then if we're using tensorflow we need to have this pb text file here um which we're, which when we're going to specify the framework here in the last parameter we're just going to explicit framework name here tag to determine a uh, format so we're going to specify for example tensorflow here in the first parameter then it will automatically go in and see uh, say that we want this file extension here for a config and we want this file extension up here for the model that we're going to load in with this function here so when we have specified these three, three different kind of parameters and we have actually like specified the path to where we have stored our models here or like these files here that we have saved of our models then it will actually like just read in that neural network and it will turn a it will return this network uh, architecture up here that we can then use later on to actually like pass images through it. So the last thing I want to share here in the int introduction video here that we have to the OpenCV uh, DNN module here is how we can actually like use the OpenCV DNN module here. So I'm just going to run the code here and we will go through the steps and how to set these different kind of things here up in the next video. So we can see we have some different kind of like labels down here where which we can actually like track here in the image. So right now we're just loading in a neural network that is already trained on the Cocoa data set, data set. So we have all these different kind of like Cocoa uh, classes down here. And now we can see that we're actually like tracking a person around here in the image frame. We get out the boundary box and stuff like that. And in the next video, I'm, I'm going to show you like how we can actually like do this and set it up, how we can load in the different kind of like neural network architecture that I just showed you uh, with the functions and the different kind of methods and classes inside of the OpenCV documentation. So here you can see we're tracking a person around. It is really good. We have like around 100 FPS. And right now I'm actually like running on a TPU. So we're both going to, to do comparisons of CPUs and TPUs when we're going to run these different kind of like neural networks here. But we can see we're tracking a person here. And if I move it right here, we can actually like see that now it actually like detects a TV here behind me. We can also take some other different kind of optics here. So for example, right now it's tracking a cop. It's tracking it pretty good around here. We can see we get some really good results. I also have another glass here, which it also thinks that it's a cop. So we can see that, or like sometimes it actually detects it's a wine glass here. But we can see we get all these different kind of octave optics here that would that have just print out out here. So we can both like detect a person, bicycles, cars, motorcycle, airplanes, and so on. And we can actually like have really good and really nice efficiency when we're running all of these different kind of like optic detections algorithm here. We get around hundreds FPS with the GPU here. So it's really efficient to use OpenCV with GPU support for these different kind of like a neural network deployment. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. So you'll get a notification when I upload the next video here where I'm going to go into details line by line how we can set this up here that I just showed you in code. We're both going to do it in C++ and Python. So I'm just really excited for it. We can create some really nice and cool applications and it's really nice to actually like be able to deploy our neural networks that we have both like pre-trained and also if you create our own neural network from scratch. Uh, we can deploy them here in OpenCV and use the different kind of functions from OpenCV as well. So I'm currently also doing a deep learning tutorial where we're talking about like how we can create neural networks from scratch, the basic stuff about the theory behind neural networks, training on data set, do predictions on data that I hadn't seen before. And then I'm also doing this computer vision tutorial where what, right now we're going to combine both OpenCV and deep learning. So we're actually combining all of these different kind of things. And the result of that is what we see here on the image frame that we're going to go through in the next video. So I'll link to the tutorial up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.